writing out my goals and stuff so um, this is sort of my process I'm going to take you through it quickly so on this first page along here I just sort of almost a brainstorm a brain dump of everything that's in my head that I want to get done in the new year so it's just super messy a bit all over the place not very specific um, but that's just the first attempt at it on this second page here I decided to do a bit of an ideal morning morning and night routine um, I have recently quit my second job, so uh, this new year is going to be an opportunity for me to actually develop a bit of an evening routine now that I don't have to go to the restaurant every couple of nights. It's going to be a little bit less disruptive for me. Um, but the second couple of pages is where I really broke things down. So I'm not going to go fully into all of my goals because some of them are personal goals, some of them are financial goals, and those I prefer to keep private, but I'll take you through a few of them. So I've broken them up into categories. My first category is health, the second is fitness, uh, the next one is YouTube and social media goals, uh, as well as some career goals. Uh, after that I've got some lifestyle and routine goals and then some financial goals. So I'm going to keep my sort of career and financial stuff to myself, so sorry if you wanted to hear about that, but that to me is very personal. I will be filming in the new year a bit of a health journey video which will explain this a whole lot more, but basically my gut is kind of destroyed at the moment. So I've got that I need to get onto a probiotic regime. I don't know what that will be yet, but I'll do a bit of research and find a good probiotic. Uh, I want to cut back on coffee, which is going to be really sad, but that's okay. I'm only going to cut it back to one a day. I'm doing really bad with it. I remember I'm like three or four a day, so that's not good. That's too much coffee. Um, okay. So I also want to get organized. I want to plan my meals ahead of time and start prepping food. I honestly um, have been buying lunch every day. I, I wish I could say that I'm taking lunch even one day a week, but I'm not. It's been so bad and that's something that I really want to work on in the new year. Um, so on to some fitness goals. So I want to stretch every single day and I know that sounds intense, but I'm only talking like 10, 15 minutes. Um, another thing I want to be able to learn to do this year is handstands. Now, I my goal here is to be able to get, get upside down by the end of the year. I don't know how I'm going to go. I find them really hard. I don't know why. Maybe I just don't understand the physics of it or something. But handstands for me are really, really hard. I have tried before, but I am making it a goal this year. I will be able to do a handstand by the end of the year. Um, and then the last fitness goal I have is to practice my pull-ups uh, with every upper body session. So I really want to be able to do at least three pull-ups unassisted by the end of the year. Upper body strength is something I really, really struggle with. Um, I'm quite strong on my lower body, but my upper body is just not it. I hate doing it, but I want to get better at it and I want to learn to enjoy it a little bit more. In terms of my like lifestyle and routine goals, I want to focus less on screens and read more. As you can see, I've got quite a few books here. I, I do love to read and I do read a little bit. I really want to focus less on watching stuff on my phone and watching TV all the time. My screen time is actually disgusting. Um, I want to develop productive and enjoyable morning and night routines. Now, I know I've mentioned it a few times now, but like I said, because of that second job, my routines were so out of whack. I couldn't really get into a routine because every night was so, so different. Um, so for me, something that's going to be really important is developing that morning and nighttime routine. 
I'm going to keep my career and finance goals to myself, but basically in a nutshell, I've been working towards a certain promotion at my day job for quite some time. Um, so I'm hoping to get that promotion at some point in the year. I do have a game plan for that, but that is something I'm going to keep to myself. Um, same with finances. I have a savings goal that I do want to stick to. Um, one thing I will tell you is I really want to buy a camera. I'm not sure if you know or can tell. I definitely can, but I film on my phone. I really want to buy a camera for vlogging in the new year at some point. So that is a part of my financial goal. That is something that I'm saving towards. But it's all in my little book. I am going to set a bit more of a game plan and sort of expand throughout the year on how I'm working towards my goals and keep you updated. But that's basically my game plan thus far. into non sorry into fictions because I tend to read them for fun more than for anything else right. anyway I'm going on a tangent the last one I got is happy hour it's got a little dog on the cover which hella cute um this one I actually have seen a few times at a few different bookstores and I always go to pick it up but for whatever reason I never do so I like the sounds of this one also it sounds like just a fun little like romance kind of feel and I'm looking forward to reading it so those are the three fiction novels that I have picked up for the new year and very excited to get into those. Now the stationery hauls. So, alrighty, so moving on to some stationery that I picked up. All of this is from Officeworks. Unfortunately, Darwin doesn't really have any specialty stationery stores, which is very upsetting, but we've got Officeworks and it's pretty well stocked, the one that we have. So. First thing I picked up was a three pack of notebooks. This is just 80 pages each, little three pack, plain brown cover. It's moleskin, 
rule journals. It's pretty basic, but I like having quite a few notebooks laying around. I like to separate my um, things into different journals. So that's just how I prefer to do things. If you want a video on how I fill my journals, do let me know because I love stationery and I love talking about it. So maybe we'll go into how I fill each of these journals. Next thing that I got is this grid notebook. Um, I want to be practicing my calligraphy and hand lettering this year and writing on a grid is really helpful for me. I got a new ruler because rulers are the one thing that I always lose. I will buy a ruler and I can never find it so I'm determined not to lose this one. It's a 40 centimeter plastic ruler, nothing special, it was 90 cents. But it's recycled plastic so that's great. Alright, and the last little thing that I got is the really fun part. So I only got a few markers for the now. I have a whole heap, but they're all down in Adelaide in storage. So I kind of hate buying them, but also they're going to be a pain to ship up. So I got this pretty green one. I got a pretty blue one and a pretty purple one. So I went for pastels. I've got a whole heap of neutral these are the ones that I already have so I've already got a set of like brown neutral colors so now I've got some fun colorful ones and I also picked up a new gel pen so that's all the stationery and books that I got I hope you enjoyed that little haul so I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening doing a little bit of self-care stuff I'm gonna do a face mask I'm gonna wash my hair as you can see I'm a little patchy especially through here so I'm going to scrub off my tan and just things like that so I'm all fresh for the new year. last night doing a bit of a pamper I scrubbed off my tan as you can see I'm nice and pale now I did an Olaplex treatment in my hair my little curl still isn't fixed unfortunately but at least the rest of my hair is looking beautiful and soft and lovely um but yeah so to wrap up this vlog I'm gonna go into a massive grocery haul we're going to get all the essentials we're so the meal plan for this week is quinoa uh, and roast vegetable salads for lunch. I'm going to have that with salmon for dinner tomorrow night. And then I'm going to have chicken enchiladas on Wednesday night. Uh, Thursday night is going to be peanut chicken. And then Friday night we always eat out just because that's our night out. And then the weekend I'll leave it up to how we're feeling on the days just because we obviously have a bit more time on the weekends. So that's sort of my game plan for eating healthier in the new year. Um, we'll see how that works in the long term. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got left for you for this video. So I'm going to do that grocery haul and show you everything that I got. And then we'll wrap up the video. Alrighty, so this is everything I ended up getting from the shops. I've got a bit of Mexican stuff. So we got some cheese and yogurt, some ice cream and some milk. Uh, lactose free because I've had to go into that. I've got a couple of protein yogurts and some gluten free bread just to stock up on some snack stuff. And coffee pods obviously because coffee. Uh, I got some flaked almonds for making protein balls and then just a bunch of fruit and veg. Um, we got some chicken for making bowls and uh, enchiladas later. And oh, mangoes, they're so good at the moment and so fresh. I got some canned stuff. I got some mixed beans for putting into uh, quinoa salad as well as some black beans for the Mexican style stuff. Uh, some salsa, some peanut butter because we were running out and this tomato chutney, which I'm kind of excited about to have with like eggs and avocado. That's gonna be so good. Uh, and some fruit chutney, cause I love that with curries. Sweet potatoes and gluten-free tortillas. And then I got these, all these sort of little snacks. I just wanted to try some fun things and I found gluten-free tiny teddies. So that's so exciting. 